at the time I'm filming this video, it's almost Christmas time and remember the 26th of Christmas of December is Boxing Day. So if you're wondering what can I give to someone that is diabetic, you clicked on the right video because today I'll be sharing six best gifts to give to a diabetic patient. Gifts are very lovely, especially when you give gifts that are very pertinent to someone's health it shows that you care yes you can imagine receiving a gift of something that you've always wanted or something that your prescriber or your pharmacist has always told you to get that something that will be very helpful to your health and then someone is thoughtful enough like i'm thoughtful enough to share and someone is thoughtful enough to buy those gifts and give to you Trust me, you will know that that person cares. Anyone that gives you a gift that is related, that is helpful to your health or that would add value to your health, trust me, that person has good thoughts for you. Also, today, you would know the best gifts to give to a diabetic patient. Without further explanation let's get right into the topic of today but firstly if you're new here my name is claire i'm a pharmacist a friendly pharmacist that loves you <laughs> and on this channel we'll talk about health lifestyle wonderful gifts that you can give like what i'm doing right now and medication review if you love stuff like that consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up firstly what can you give who is a diabetic patient a diabetic person is anyone that has developed insulin resistance. There are different types of diabetes. You can have diabetes in pregnancy. You can have type 1 diabetes. That's when your body does not produce insulin. Your body, your, your body cannot produce enough insulin or does not produce at all. There are different causes and reasons why that happens. You have type 2 diabetes where one has insulin resistance. So insulin basically helps to mop up sugar from the blood. And when hormone is resistant, then you most likely will not be able to do that. And this can lead to increased blood sugar level and eventually diabetes. The high blood sugar level can damage the eye, the brain, the kidney, your nerves. So many, so many parts of the body can be um, damaged due to high blood sugar level. That's what diabetes is all about. So now, if you know anyone that has been diagnosed of diabetes and you don't know what to buy for them this Christmas season, that is what I'm here to share with you. Firstly, you can get them a diabetes book or journal. This, this book would help them in the management of their disease condition. Firstly, most times, self-monitoring of blood sugar helps to give better results with regards to the management of this condition. I have a client that when she comes, she, you know, she just tells me, okay, whenever I check, whenever I'm stressed up and I check my sugar level, it's this, or uh, it gives me this value, or I experience my sugar level shoots up when I eat this type of food or at this time of the day. You're wondering how does she have all that information? It's because of a journal. The journal would help you help a patient to track different points when the sugar level shoots up or the best time to get the best reading and all that. So if you don't know what to get for your mom or dad or friend that has diabetes, you can get them a journal and this would be very helpful if they already if they already have glucometer or if even if you don't have a glucometer when you visit the hospital and your, your, your monthly test is done. This would help you to document and personally know whether you're doing good or doing wrong and just basically monitor yourself. So a diabetic book would go a long way in helping one that is suffering from diabetes. I've said enough of, I, in a lot of things that you can document, you can even document the foods you eat, the time you eat your food, you know, and other healthy lifestyles, your water intake, a lot of, a lot can be documented in your journal, in your health, it's like, it's going to be like a health journal to the person. So if you're considering a gift, consider getting a book or a journal for uh, diabetic patients to just document stops moving on i've said a lot about this book 
Moving on to the second gift you can get a diabetic person is socks or slippers or sandals or a comfortable shoe. Usually, it's advisable for a diabetic patient to always protect his or her feet. Now, why is this important? Besides the fact that neuropathy can set in, there's also what we call diabetic foot. Now, when a patient has, when a diabetic person has a, a sore or a wound, the wound heals poorly. And sometimes it even leads to amputation, that is removal of that limb or that part of the body, that leg. So protecting your leg is very important. So if you're wondering what you can buy, you can get a socks or you can get sandals. This would go a long way in showing that you care about that person's health. You don't just need to pack chocolates and and sweet stuffs for them. Get them that sandals, get them that socks that will enable them to protect their feet. So totally, the next wonderful gift you can get is a glucometer. You're wondering why didn't I mention that first? Well, I decided to put it here so that you really appreciate it. Yes, this is meant to be number one, but like I chose to put it here because I'm your pharmacist. <laughs> so a glucometer is a monitor used in measuring your blood sugar level. You can consider getting a glucometer. Yes, it will be very helpful. Remember the documentation. When they check just when they check their blood sugar level, they can document whatever value they get from their glucometer, blood sugar measuring device, monitoring device. <laughs> so next, you can get them gym membership you're wondering yes in fact exercise helps them to do well like it's recommended for diabetic patients so if you get them a gym membership it's going a long way get them a personal coach and you diabetic patient that is just starting out exercising don't just jump in and do the most vigorous exercise i will just drop your sugar level and even lead to worse complications do it gradually don't just go and start lifting weights when you have not you know done the simple simple exercises if you have on if you're just getting into that so get them gym membership get them a personal coach that will put them on track and this would show that you care about their health i've given you i started with i started with a book and moved on to sandals or socks I mentioned glucometer and now I just talked about gym membership fifthly you can get them a fitness tracker yes it could be in the form of an app it could be in the form of a wristband that would monitor their steps because you know it's important for them to be active so this so there are different types of fitness tracker it could be one that monitors their calorie can be one that monitors their water intake so there are a lot of technology health technology out there health fitness apps out there you know fitness tracker devices out there look for the one that is affordable or something that you you that is convenient for the person and then get that for that person lastly workout wears yes this is very important for them exercise helps the body to use up the sugar this excess amount of sugar in the body so they need those workout wears pick one yes get them even if it's the canvas for jogging or taking work so fitness way and when they put it on they are even motivated to you know use that gym membership if custom for them or attach that um fitness tracker device either a wristband or whatever or whatever tracking device you get for them if the workout way goes a long way in helping them manage their health because when they put it on they are motivated to go out there and do something use that gym membership you've gotten them and also take notes in their diabetic book and trust me they would love you more as the best way to show appreciation especially if it's for your parents or for whoever yes it shows that you care it's not just about buying chocolates and stuff 
I hope this this video has added to you and it's, it's giving you some ideas share this video with anyone that you know will benefit from it give this video a thumbs up and if you don't know what to put in the comment section tell let me know the particular gift you're going to be getting for your loved one today and until next time see you in the next video where i'll be sharing helpful tips